Hi, I'm George Saunders, author of Lincoln and the Bardo, and I'm here today at the Penguin Random House Studios recording the audiobook. When Lincoln was president, his son Willie died, and Lincoln was apparently so grief-stricken that he actually went into the crypt and held a body a couple of times. So this book just starts with that notion, like how sad would you have to be to do that? Would it help? Would you do it again? Those kind of questions. So to get at that, I just looked at about a seven-hour window on the night in question and just sat in that graveyard and let Lincoln come in and see what he did. I was talking to the producer, Kelly Gilday. At one point, I said, would it be possible to do a separate reader for every voice in the book? And she said, yeah, maybe. So then she emailed me the next day and said, well, that would take 166 different people. I'm like, oh. She goes, no, we, we can do it. We're going to do it. So the casting was so fun. We, we were lucky enough to get Nick Offerman and David Sedaris to agree to, to uh, join us from the beginning. And after that, we just got this incredible group of Academy Award winning actors. We got musicians. We got my friends and family. We got people from Random House and ICM. And uh, it's been, I think, kind of a groundbreaking thing in audiobook where we have 166 separate people doing the, the different voices. In the book itself, I was trying to kind of communicate how varied the America of that time was by using high diction, low diction, some dialect. There are really beautifully articulate 19th century letters. There are obscene rants, everything you could you could ask for. So the idea in casting it this way was to try to get hundreds of different American voices from all over the country. We've got people from Minnesota, from Alabama, from California, of course, New York. I think the audiobook is going to do a nice job of simulating the kind of diversity of voice that I tried to get into the book. So exciting, too, to think that these voices that you thought up sort of privacy of your own home and of your own heart were, you know, were going out and being done by these incredible artists that I've admired for so long. And what's so fun is Kelly would email me after a particularly great performance and just say, tears in my eyes or I'm feeling chills or this is why this person won an Oscar and we just got this incredible group of actors that you will definitely recognize and I, I think it's an incredible cast, kind of a jaw-droppingly good.